What's going on guys, it's Ramona, and today we are doing another blind bag. Now, I'll probably be getting courses from the uh, the search thing, but I'll try to on here and hope for the best. I just hope they don't suck. But is that asking too much? I don't know. Oh, this intro is too long, dude. Nintendo, this needs to be skippable. This is that's that's really annoying. Don't swim or oh no, not another auto level. Oh, I fucking hate these. Hopefully this one's quick. I don't get why it's called don't swim or move. It's a little redundant there. Uh Oh, okay. Oh my god, I hate- uh, Hopefully, I'm assuming it's gonna run out of time at the last second. So we got to sit through 30 more seconds of this. I mean, I could just skip it, but I don't know. I'll watch it, because why the fuck not? Oh, you're gonna take me everywhere but the fucking flagpole? Alright. I'll go with it. Sorry, I just really don't have that much to say about these levels. Okay. That was an ending, and also those things aren't layered properly. Mario went in the castle, and they were in the front of the castle. Oh, I really don't like auto levels. I mean, they're fun, I guess, if you want to watch something and you don't want to participate. Yeah, blue Mega Man. I actually like the Rush Coil one better. But, oh, I don't, I'm not going to be picky. Why didn't, like, you know what I don't get? Why is the Mega Man one scaled down? I get it's supposed to fit Mario's proportions. But the Sonic and Pac-Man ones are pretty much the same scale, just the collisions are smaller. Why couldn't they do that for Mega Man? I don't know. I kind of like it. It's kind of chibi-ish Mega Man, but I kind of wish they used the original sprite and just, um, you know, just move the hitboxes. Or maybe, eh. Yeah, you could scale it down in this because of the way the, uh, yeah, you could. Can I do a slide? No. I can pretend I'm shooting things. Oh boy. Thanks, Nintendo. Oh dude, you know what I hate? Do you guys have the um the Sonic um amiibo costume? You know it's so annoying, it bugs me. If you guys played Sonic, you know how well, like, okay, look, the run cycle for Sonic in this is spin dashing instead of his, you know, figure eight running, which I don't get in the first place, but so when he runs, he spin dashes, and that confuses me because if you play Sonic, you're like, oh, spin dash, I can run into enemies, that'll kill them. But I, like, I don't know, it's maybe because I just played so much Sonic, it's just, as soon as I see him spin dashing, I'm not gonna jump over the Goomba, I'm gonna run into it, and then I'm like, ah, fuck, that's dumb. Anyway, that was not bad, that one was just monotonous. Alright, let's go to the course maker. Or the, uh, course world thing. Yeah, but let me know what you guys think of that, because, I, I don't know, it bugs me, I don't even get why they would do that. I, it's just so annoying. All right, let's see. I'm just going to dig through features. Uh, what happens behind the pole? That sounds interesting. Let's find out. Are there any other me costumes that you guys just like don't like or think is like weird or just does something weird? Like let me know cuz I want to I want to know. Okay, why would I have a one up right away? Oh, it's... Damn it. I had my hopes for this one. 
Fuck. To not be one of these annoyingly gimmicky levels. Can I not avoid that? Do I have to time? Oh, that's stupid. I'm not gonna, like, necessarily say a level's bad just because I don't like the design. But, I mean, like... No, I guess this one... Oh, fuck that. This one's not necessarily bad. I just find the design a bit annoying. How am I supposed to even get down there? They're gonna respawn. Am I supposed to slowly inch- Oh my god, I hate these levels. Can I even get down there in time? Well, obviously I probably can. Oh my god. I can't jump though. Am I supposed to just run back and forth? Look, I'm just inching my way down here really slowly. Oh my god, I'm done. No, I don't want to do this one. Sorry, this is stupid. I'm gonna end up on this level for 10 minutes and I'd spend more than a couple minutes per level. It wasn't bad, but I just like, oh, that's so, it's such a, no, it's, it's bad. It's just, it's too slow and like obnoxious. I don't know, I don't like those levels where it's just like the flow is sort of dictated by the level and not the player. That's just me. That's why I don't like auto-scrollers. With a few exceptions. Some, um, some are okay. Because some of the levels, like, have to auto-scroll in order for the concept to work. Those are the ones I'm okay with, but I don't think all of them need to do that. Oh, man. Please don't put- okay, at least I had time to see what was coming. Oh, they blow up question mark blocks? I didn't know that. Well, that did it for me. I like the idea of this one with the houses. That was actually pretty cool. Damn it, with the one-ups and like really easy to get places. I don't know why, I just really don't like that. I don't know, because it doesn't feel rewarding, probably. That, that's probably why. Oh, no. Don't, okay, alright, good. I was about to say, don't tell me this is one of those things where I got, like, one shot. If I fuck it up, I gotta start over. I want it. I want it. Oh, okay, there we go. No, I want it. Fuck. I have to get off, because I could get stuck. Oh, man, it's gonna blow up. Oh, the blue ones go forever? Oh, I thought they would, uh, I thought they, uh, stop like the white ones do. Oh, shit. Help. Okay. I think this one's pretty good, actually. This one's actually pretty fun. The gimmick's fun. Yay! Oh shit, get the f- That was pretty cool. I like that. Eh. Oh, you can get the other spiky ones out. Oh fuck. Yeah! Dude, that one was fun! Oh, Mario doesn't run pa Oh, yeah, it's Mario World. I like- do you ever notice that, like, Mario gets stuck? He just kind of, like, gets scared and goes into the corner in a fetal position. Just pretty funny. Oh, I meant to star- oh, can I star it? Because it was pretty good. Yeah. You deserved it, because I enjoyed that quite a bit. Some people, like- I've seen people online I'm not based on luck, fuck that. I see people online, like, say, don't be stingy with your stars and give them out if you, they really tried. I disagree with that. I think you should give them out if you feel like it was something that stood out to you and it, it was fun and you would recommend somebody else play it. 
Because to be honest, like, if you don't enjoy it, like, just don't star it. I don't know. You could just give them out, but I think you want the higher quality levels or more fun levels to stay at the top. I don't know. I just don't agree with that. I say, just because you have unlimited stars doesn't mean you should hand them out to everybody. What do you guys think about that? Oh, f Dude, come on! I couldn't even see that fucking coming! God damn it. Dude, I think that's one of, like, the biggest things about levels in this- oh, fuck. About levels in this game that annoys the fuck out of me is when I can't see something coming. I get hit by something there was no way I could see coming. That's like the number fucking one do not do. Like, guys, just never freaking do that. It's it's really bad. Like, I'd say 90% of the time, if I get hit by something I can't see coming, I just quit. Because I'm just going to assume the rest of the level is like that. Which, I'm usually right, like, 90% of the time. Oh god, see, I even knew it was coming that time, and I still fucking forgot. What's up here? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh god, fucking... It's annoying. I guess it's fine. I could have avoided it. It was my fault, so it's okay. Where do I- oh, okay. This level's not even that bad. It's just that one part is really stupid and needs to be changed. Because I'm just thinking from the perspective of a lot of other people. Like, oh, fuck. Like, um, dude, they're probably gonna quit, like, the second you fucking, uh... The hell do I do? I'm assuming I gotta take the clown car and go up here or something. Can I? I just do this? Okay. I don't know if you guys know, but a cool trick for boss battles is um, requiring, because the clown car won't despawn, so you can uh, use the clown car as a means of the only way to get out of the area, thus having to beat the boss. So, you know, people don't just run past it. There's other creative ways you can keep them from skipping, too. I'll probably go over that in the boss battle video. That was okay. It's not getting a star, though, because that one part. You can call me stingy all you want, that's just how I'm gonna be. No, I know, okay, I know what to compare it to. The people who say just to give out the stars for somebody who tried, that's like the people who want the participation trophies. You know when you used to play any kind of sport, or I don't know if you had them when, I, when you were growing up? Those stupid participation trophies. So we, I, I don't know how you feel about those, I disagree with those. I think you need to not be rewarded for losing. So you, because otherwise people are going to throw a fucking tantrum when they lose for the first time. I don't know, I just think we should reward the people who did their best, and not just anybody who is like, I showed up, and I, I did a thingy, but I didn't do it well, where's my reward? I actually had, I got one of those growing up. I got one when I was playing t-ball, and I was like, I don't know. Cause like, it was the thing where everybody gets a trophy cause everyone's a winner. And this was like, oh my god, no I'm done for that. And I was like... <laughs> like it didn't feel good cause I was just like, I don't even know what I did. I was so lazy when I played, um... Fucking t-ball, half the time I would sit on the bases cause I didn't want to stand up anymore. Cause I'm just like, ah fuck it. Nothing, this game's not going anywhere anyway.
but it was funny. I remember we also had show and tell, and I had like, I had nothing to uh, bring, so I was like, yeah, I guess I'll bring the participation trophy. And I didn't even know what to say. I was just like, I did got this for doing a thing, I guess. Oh, what? What the fuck? Uh. I also remember during uh, the next fucking week, some piece of shit fucking, I don't know why I did this, but I brought my Mario Party instruction book to fucking school. And, um, some fuckface fucking stole it, and I never understood how to use items in the game. I think it was random. I still don't even know. But when I was a kid, it confused the fuck out of me, and I wanted to know how to use it, but some asshole stole it. And if you're listening to this asshole, go fuck yourself, because you caused me problems as a kid. Just because you wanted a goddamn instruction book. Fuck that kid. This looks cool. Let's try this. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't really like that last level. I don't. I don't even know how it got stars. I, I get what was about to happen. Fucking auto scroll, and it's going fucking fast too. How am I supposed to respond to everything going on on the screen at the fucking same time? I mean, I'm doing it, but, you know... I'm not supposed to do that. Oh, you know what I wish was in this game? Um, you know how, like, in other Mario games, if you had a, uh... If you had a mushroom, right? And you opened a, uh... And you op Oh, come on, dude. Seriously? Get that shit out of here. Don't put auto-scrolling in the secret areas. I can't even fucking react to it. What was I saying? Something about feeding dolls or something. I, I do not remember what I was saying. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember. Alright, you know how in the other Mario games, like, if you had a mushroom and you opened a block with another mushroom, it would be a fire flower instead? I want that in this game. I remember when I first was making levels for this, I was, like, annoyed that that wasn't in here. Or at least make it an option, because I don't know. I didn't like that earning the fire flower was as simple as me finding one that was already there. I would have liked if I had to have the mushroom first to get it. I understand why it'd have to be an option, though. Because some levels uh, would get stuck. Or people could get stuck. Um, Cross the animals. I can play as villager? I hope. That's my main. I gotta play... I gotta play my main. That ain't villager. Oh fuck. Now I get... Uh... Why would you call it crossing it? Oh, and you're one of those people. Okay, no, I got you. No, it's okay, I got you. Oh man, I don't like this one. I do like it, but for other reasons. Oh fuck, I looked down at the time real quick. This level's okay, I get oh fuck. Dude, I couldn't see that coming. Okay, one more time. Fuck, I couldn't even see that one coming. Oh great, I got this top tier bitch again. Why I don't know. I don't like that. Why couldn't she have some her other taunts? Like the the handstand one. Oh fuck. Like that shit's annoying. Yeah, that shit needs to be moved away. Oh 
what the fuck am I supposed to? Oh my god. There we go. I don't know how. Oh, it's probably that one. Okay. Hey, I got jigs. Why doesn't. I don't like the taunts that have just that little springy noise. Do you guys like those? I don't like those. I don't know. I don't know why she couldn't have her own, like, uh, sound effect with, like, with her, like, I don't know, say her little jigglypuff thing and be adorable. I also, does it bug anyone else that Pokemon doesn't have any unique sounds? Like, it, it was 8-bit, so why couldn't you pull sounds from Pokemon? Red and blue for the, uh, sound effects. I don't know why, that bugs me, the, the, like, that really bugs me. Alright, I'd say this was mostly good, with the exception of the auto level that I just don't like. Anyway guys, I think I'm done for today, it's been over 20 minutes. So I hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday, as Tuesday, and you can leave your uh, level codes in the description, or the comments, on whatever the latest video is, that's the one I check. Okay, so I hope you all have a wonderful day, and goodbye.